Hi everyone, my name is Bruce Schwartz. Thanks for connecting, guys. Thanks for stopping by, checking out the research. Thanks to all contributors. Uh, the support is amazing, guys. For all of you coming here, uh, watching the videos, just amazing support. Thanks for being a part of this community. What is this? This is a, this is the moon. Uh, two days ago, guys, it was crazy red. And when I say red, I mean red. It was beyond orange. And I just wanted to share that with you. An interesting video. We're analyzing surface uh, objects, uh, color, and in the photos with the new D850 from Nikon, 46 megapixel camera. Thanks for the support, everyone. Another video coming up right after this one. Well, this is under Copernicus Creator. You see the drop there? That's one heck of a drop. But look what we see here under the clearing. Objects that are high off the surface that look like bridge-like, corridor-like objects that run to and from certain areas. And here's one um, along the crater, you'll say, but it has 90 degree angles, it turns and it spirals, but it's all connected. And it goes along through and amongst other craters. This one, we see a white uh, flash or smoke or haze at the end of it there. And here they are. Here there are two of them. You know, hard to recognize. Okay, doesn't look like much, but that's, you know, you got to wonder. What are those two objects that look very similar in shape, size, and form? The colors on the surface are just incredible. And with the 46 megapixel D850, we're going to see some nice color on the surface. It's pretty, pretty cool to be able to see that. Um, you know what? The deep greens uh, also have mint, like uh, more faded greens beside it. And you know what? <laughs> There's a smoke or a cloud cover on the surface that is making the color um, look even uh, more faded, lighter in shade, like a pastel color. What is this giant object? There is a cloud cover up there, guys. I've showed it before. Look back in the videos. Monolithic object, gigantic object. It really does look like a sort of like, like a spaceship, right? Probably isn't, but it really does look like like one, because you see, that's how I see spaceships in my head. That That's how they would look like. They would look like rocks or, you know, just try to blend in. Here's um, Clavius Crater on the left. This is Tycho the, and the big one on the left, Clavius Crater, to show you where it is. We're in the Southern Highlands and that's what we're looking at, that big object. Um, why are we seeing it? <laughs> we never do. It's because of the Terminator line. That's the line of day and night. The the darkness as it's moving over instead of hiding things no the darkness i guess it clashes it contrasts with the light giving us a lot of uh, detail of the elevation on the surface and just basically magnifies the surface however it is doing that they say it's the sun right that line is the sun's shadow going by but hmm i don't know more colors here uh, you see how it looks like smokes or hazes? I'm telling you it is. It definitely is. And when we zoom up close, uh, you could see that as the dark colors get lighter, it's because there's a smoke or haze over that area. And I want to check and see if those areas are going to change places. Guys, we, we can see some uh, small areas. So yeah, we, we're, we really are going to see a change if there is. And listen, if it's clouds, there's going to be movement. Of those clouds some clouds do stay in place like we have here on earth some clouds that stay in place i understand that over oceans mountains but we get clearings because you know i see them moving over in my footage and i'm able to get some surface shots and then hold on you wait till the terminator line is there that dark line um as it's moving across the surface of the moon and it's showing you a whole bunch of um you know hidden things archimedes crater guys 83 kilometers here. We're going to talk about size and the color because I want you to, uh, someone asked me what this crater was just over top the blue one. This is Aristillus crater. Um, underneath, we're going to see, which is 50 some kilometers. We're going to see underneath is Autolycus, 39 kilometers and so on and so forth. Plato crater over top, the big brown circle. Um, we're seeing a lot of the colors 
that are different and around these creators that I wasn't seeing at all, guys, with the D3400. Isn't it amazing? Look at the green clearings. So all those colors that I'm showing, when you zoom up, the overall surface between all of these other colors is green. And you see a brown and or green surface. It's both of them, basically, like under Plato Crater here, right there. Look at all the green, and then it goes to browns. And do you notice the blue spots are cut out? Like, you know, they're chiseled out. It, 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 they're not blended in. That blue is like a, a box, a cut out box. There's a square, cut out square. There's a lot of squares, eh, on the surface of the moon. I've seen quite a few of them. You know, also triangular cut out shapes, a circular cut out shape that's over top of uh, Plato Crater that we actually can't even see right here. You know, <laughs> depending on uh, the Terminator line, I guess maybe that's what's probably hiding it because I showed it just uh, about a few weeks ago. Check out Mare Chrysium, guys. The surface greenery and elevation, whatever it may be, there's lots of it. it re yes, it does look like forest, doesn't it? I'm not saying it is. I just love showing the color because, you know, it gets people mad when I say that it could be forests. I could be wrong, guys. And I'm not saying that they are. But I'm telling you, listen, people don't mention that there's color. There is. You just saw a Bessel Crater on the right there. There was color. Look at the blue intense here, how, how it's different to the blue that's there. You know why? It, there's a smoke cover over this part. And it's all blue on the surface there. But the smoke is creating a pastel color blue. I'm telling you. That's what is going on. I've showed these smokes, hazes or clouds moving. Look at the salmon color. Holy moly. I mean, that's amazing. Um, right here, this is the, uh, did you guys know that Archimedes has a mountain range? They call it the Montes Archimedes. Right there are several supposed mountains and tops and peaks right there. Now you see those colors, guys, would it not have been so beautiful seeing these colors for the first time landing on the moon? Okay, maybe not the first time because it was in black and white. I get it. 1969. But come, you know, came the first television in color. They should have showed this beautiful surface. You know, how many more people would have been interested in astronomy and researching the moon if they would have seen all these beautiful colors? You know, it's just incredible. Here's Copernicus Crater. Hey, I'm able to get some nice shots of Copernicus, guys. Uh, a lot more detail of the craters and zooming up. And guess what? Those little supposed glass domes that people keep wanting me to zoom up onto, we will because I'm I'm able to zoom up a lot more on the smaller craters. And uh, well, they're not craters, but anyways, we'll get into that really, really soon. A lot more. I'm gonna go do another video while you guys are watching this. Copernicus over top, look underneath here, you see the nice purple clearing. On the left there, a deep blue. Eratosthenes crater is just over to the right of Copernicus on top there. And you see the blue here, how there's a difference uh, where it gets uh, more pastel-like and whitish to gray, the, that intense blue. Again, it's the cloud cover or smoke or haze that's down there on the surface. I'm really going to be looking uh, here again Eratosthenes on the right, Copernicus on the left. I'm going to be looking for the changes on the surface and you can be sure as heck we're going to see some because someone's moving up there. That's for sure. We wouldn't be seeing crafts driving by that close to the surface. Those of you just arriving to the channel and subscribing, thanks for doing so. Welcome and please check out those videos that I'm talking about, the UFOs. I have much more than one videos. Uh, video, sorry, and they're plunging under the smoke and haze, those UFOs. Check them out. Look at the colors. Okay, this is incredible. On the bottom, you can see again that blue circle over um, Autolycus, uh, sorry, Aristillus. Autolycus, the smaller one to the left. Archimedes in the center down there. And over top here on the right, you can see um, Sinus Iridum, the apple bite. Plato Crater, bottom right, the round uh, crater there. Look at the colors on the surface. And those supposed craters, I don't know, guys. I don't think they're craters on the surface. And you know what? Some of these craters in the dark are still illuminated. And no, not some, all of them. 
if you look um, in the dark, you can see these lights lit up all along the Terminator line. It's not the sun reflecting on them. You know, they're light sources, whatever they may be. Uh, NASA and scientists talk about a transient lunar phenomenon behind Plato Crater. You can look back in this video every time you see Plato Crater, there's a bright light um, beside it. And that's what they call a transient lunar phenomenon. But in reality, the moon is covered with them. Every light source, every crater is a light source. And, you know, they would each be transient lunar phenomenon events, each and every one of them. See in the top left there, those lights there, that is um, known as a supposed transient lunar phenomenon. Look at the colors. Pinks, reds, salmons, yellows, limes, blues, different blues, purples. It's just, you know, pretty incredible to be able to see it. Char Gordon, Robert Grimard, Cameron McLean, Stephanie Allen, Anthony Ahmed, and a wonderful anonymous donor. Guys, thanks to you guys, all of you, this channel is up. And thanks to everyone who comes here and supports this channel. I greatly appreciate it. You guys, thanks for the generous contributions. Nigel Bamford, Russ Baker, Inger Lee Strom, Angela Wade. Guys, the list goes on. Thanks for the support.